tools. When you use the pen, Illustrator creates a path and stores the information about the path. The paths are defined mathematically with anchor points and segments. You can modify paths at any time. In this lesson, we're going to learn about Illustrator's pen tools, as well as creating simple and complex paths. You use the pen tool to create a path. The path is made up of curved and straight segments. These segments are created by anchor points. When you click the pen tool, you can draw corner points and straight segments. If you drag the pen tool, you can create smooth points and curved segments. These segments will have direction handles so you can change the direction of the segments. You can use smart guides to help you align the segments, as you'll see in this lesson. That said, let's use the pen tool to create a polygon. First, click the pen tool. Click on the artboard to create an anchor point. If you want to draw segments that are constrained to 45 degrees, hold down Shift as you click. Now click to create a second anchor point in a different location. As you can see, a line segment appears between the two anchor points that you created. Continue to add anchor points to create your shape. To create a closed path, connect your last anchor point with the first anchor point. Remember, a straight line is an open path. A circle is a closed path. So is a polygon. Next, let's learn to draw a curve with the pen tool. To do this, you're going to click to place the first anchor point, just as we did before. But now you're going to click and drag. Notice the handle that has appeared. Now, release the mouse and move to where you want the second point to be. Click and drag again. As you can see, your curved line appears between the two points. The shape of your curve is defined by the length and direction of the handles. You can add more anchor points and handles. Click on the selection tool when you're finished to see your shape. Remember, just as with lines, segments are drawn from the previous to the new anchor point. To create a closed path, connect the last point with the first point. The selection and anchor displays preference will let you set selection and anchor options when working with the pen tool. Using this, you can set how handles and anchors appear. As you use Illustrator, you'll discover that it's easier to select anchor points when they're highlighted on mouse over, simply because they're easier to find and click on. Let's learn how to do this. Go to Illustrator, then Preferences, then go to Selection and Anchor Display. Now you can select the anchor point and handle display options that you want. This is personal preference. Choose what you will find easier to work with. Click OK when you're finished. Let's say that you draw a segment on the wrong part of your artboard and you want to move it. Or let's say that you need to move an anchor point. If you move a segment, the anchor points move with it. However, if you move an anchor point, the segments connected to the anchor point will change. If you move a curved segment, the curve will change, but the anchors remain the same. If you want to change a curved segment, you can do so by adjusting a direction point on the direction handle. Let's learn how to move points and segments to see what we mean. To move an anchor point or segment, select the Direct Selection tool in the toolbox. Make sure you click a blank area to deselect all points in the active area. Now select an anchor point or the middle of the segment and drag it. If you want to make a smaller move, click on the anchor point or segment, then use the arrow key on your keyboard to move it. If you want to reshape a curve, click an anchor point or curve segment then draw a direction point at the end of the direction handle. Paths can have two types of anchor points, smooth or corner. A smooth anchor point connects two curved segments and creates a smooth line. A corner anchor point connects two straight or curved segments to create a change in the path direction. Look at the curve we have. To convert the point from a smooth point to a corner point, we go to the control panel. The first button is Convert to Corner. The second is Convert to Smooth. Let's click Convert to Corner. The point that you selected is now converted to a corner point. You can also convert points by using the Convert Anchor tool. To use the Convert Anchor tool, select it in the toolbox. To find it, click and hold on the pen tool, then select the Convert Anchor tool from the menu. Now to convert a corner point to a smooth point, make sure you have the point selected and then choose Convert to Smooth up in the control panel. Now it's converted back to a smooth point.
In Illustrator, you can add, subtract, or delete anchor points to modify a path. You can also modify the points to conform to a shape. Let's show you what we mean and how you can add and delete anchor points to modify paths and shapes. Here's how to add anchor points. Go to the Direct Selection tool in the toolbox. Now select the object for which you want to add an anchor point. Now go to Add Anchor Point in the toolbox. It's grouped with the pen tool. Click on the path once to add a new anchor point. The new anchor point has been added. Now click the Direct Selection tool again, then click on the new anchor point and drag to modify the segment. To delete an anchor point, go to the Delete Anchor Point tool located within the pen tool. Click on an anchor point to delete it. We deleted the upper right point from the square. Earlier in this course, we learned how to align objects. In Illustrator, you can also align anchor points on a path along the horizontal and vertical axis. To do this, select the Lasso tool in the toolbox. Now drag your mouse to select two or more points. Now click the Align To button in the control panel. Now you can align to Selection, align to Key Anchor, or align to Artboard. We're going to align to Section. Now click on one of the Align or Distribute buttons on the control panel. Let's choose Horizontal Align Left. It's the first button on the left. As you can see, the points have been aligned. To join anchor endpoints with a straight line, click on the Direct Selection tool. Shift-click on the two endpoints you want to join. Click Connect Selected Endpoints in the control panel. The two endpoints are now connected.